Hey guys, it's Rick. Welcome to the HD Vibe channel. If you'd like to see more tips, tricks, rides, reviews, installs on my Harley Davidson Touring Motorcycles, as well as information about motorcycles and the motorcycle community at large, actually please hit that subscribe button. And when you do subscribe, please leave a comment down below saying I subscribe so I can personally reach out and thank you for supporting the channel. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon and select all so that you get notified every time I do put out new content. So today, you saw it in the thumbnail. What is my pen? Um, I bought this bike pre-owned. Nobody told me what my pen number is. These bikes with the key fobs um, that you can start without a key, they do have a pen number. And I am gonna get into showing you one, how you find out what your pen number is if your dealer did not tell it, tell you what it is. Secondly, how to change it. And thirdly, Stay tuned to the end because I am going to tell you I probably know your PIN number and can take your bike when it's out in the parking lot. And we'll get into all of that right after this. So guys, when I bought this 2021 Rogue Glide Special from Head Motors in Columbia, Missouri, they did not know what the pen number was for this bike. I obviously did not know what the pen number was on the bike. And it's not written anywhere in your owner's manual. Um, and there are a couple of ways that you can figure out what your pen number is. And, and the reason that's important is I don't know about you, but sometimes I let my battery and my key fob and the other bikes get low. And when that happens, the only way to start the bike, if you're out away from home and you don't have your other key fob or you don't have a spare battery with you, is to enter that five digit pin number. But what if you don't know the pin number and your dealer never told you when you purchased the bike, either new or pre-owned, um, or you bought it from a buddy or a friend or just out in, the marketplace and you don't know what the pin number is. So I'm gonna show you how to find the pin number if you have your key fob handy and it is active with a good battery. So that is the one way you can find it. And then secondly, I'm gonna show you and tell you how you can change that pin number to make it your own. And then lastly, I'm gonna show you and tell you, I bet I know what your pin number is on your bike if it hasn't been changed by yourself or someone who had the bike before you from factory settings. So let me move the camera over here and I'm gonna show you the exact steps that you need to go through to one, find out your pin number and then secondly, change it. And I am actually gonna change the pin number on this bike and test my theory to see if I actually know what the pin number might be on my bike and your bike right before your eye. First part of this, I am gonna show you, so I've removed the key fob and moved it far away from the bike, so I'm gonna turn this on to ignition, and you'll see this is flashing, so the alarm system, and now it's at enter pin, enter pin. So in order to start this bike, if you know the pin without the key fob handy, you can actually start the bike. But what if you don't know your pin? So I'm gonna show you with the key fob close by what the steps are to actually get your pin number to show up. And I'm actually gonna show you my pin number because I'm gonna change it right after this. So I've got the key fob on the bike now. So I'm gonna actually show you the steps you need to go through to actually have your pin number flash up here while the key fob is close by. So ignition is on. Now my cutoff switch on, off, on, off, on, flash, flash, flash. And there is my pin number, 11244. So now to change this, all you have to do is Again, while this key fob is on there, you scroll through and change it to whatever you want. And the way you do that is you hit your left. As you can see, it went to two. I hit the left again, three, four, five, six. And then you hit your right turn signal over here 
to set that number. So I'm gonna go through this process and reset this pen to something that I only know and I'm not gonna share that one with you um, so that I know this pen in case my battery ever goes out or I lose my key fob when I'm out on the road um, and I can't get to another key fob and I can actually start this bike without the key fob. Okay guys, here's the part of the video where I am pretty sure that I actually know your pin number on your bike if it hasn't been reset by you or someone who previously owned the bike or by the dealership. So here's a little bit of information that you want to know. These bikes, many of them, and I've tested this on my own bikes as well as friends' bikes, is these pin numbers, which are five digits, are oftentimes, and I think they come from the factory this way, are the last five digits of your VIN number. So your VIN number is right here on your frame. So if someone wants to steal this bike, doesn't have your key fob, and your bike is parked out in the parking lot, and you're not watching it, if they know how to enter the PIN number, and they know that these Harley Davidson pin numbers are often set to the last five digits of the VIN number. All they gotta do is look on the right side of this bike, jot down the last five digits, turn the ignition on, and when it asks for the pin, just punch it in and these bikes will start and be driven away. So you often wonder, how do these Harley Davidsons get stolen? My contention is that oftentimes these bad guys those that steal things know this little secret, and many of us who actually are legal owners of the bikes don't know this. Um, so in my case on this bike, it was the last five digits of the VIN number. On my 2015 Street Glide Special, it was the last five digits of my, pen, of my VIN number. I tried this experiment about a year ago with some of my friends that I ride with. They didn't know what their pens were, and I said I went them through the pro I showed them to how to do the process to identify their pen number so that they actually had it. Two for two. I tried with two of my friends, and in both cases, the pen number was the last five digits of the VIN. And these bikes were purchased from different dealerships. They both purchased those bikes new. They were never informed as to what their pen number was. And while we were in the parking lot getting ready for a ride that day, I showed them how to change that pin number to something that only they knew. So now there's a less likely chance that that bike is gonna get stolen. So that's my bet. So I would like for you to put down in the comments, if you don't know your pin and you go through this process and you find that your pin was the last five digits of your VIN, I'd be curious to run a poll and see how many people actually find out that it is those last five digits. I think they come from the factory that way. It's a simple number for them to make sure that these bikes are set to some number. It's somewhat random, but if the bad guys know this, they're gonna be stealing bikes, and I think that's how bikes get stolen at these bike weeks and these bike rallies. Um, and you would think, how can these be stolen? They got a fob. If you, don't have, if you have the fob in your pocket and there's not one on the bike, they can't see the bike. But if they can get that pin number in there, these bikes will start and be gone. Um, so I hope this is helpful. Um, and I want you to go out and change that pin. If you haven't ever checked your pin, you don't know your pin, follow these procedures. And what I did will work for anything from 2014 to current. Um, before 2014, the process is just a little bit different and I can't tell you exactly what that is because I don't have any of my bikes that are older than 2014. My oldest is a 2015. So, I hope this helps. Um, leave your uh, comment down below about if you found that to be the case with your bike. I appreciate everybody who watches these videos and if you would, again, hit that subscribe button, hit the like, Give it a comment and share this with your friends because I think this is critical information that we as Harley Davidson owners need to know when we get these bikes. So with that, I'm gonna leave you with this thought. Life is short, get out and ride the bike. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.